Hello everybody, Grandpa Dan here. Well, um, today I'm going to work on polishing up the crankshaft uh, for that young fella's 1931 Model A engine. This is the extra crank that he brought. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's much better than the other one. Still not great, you know. Kind of show you what some of the some of the journals look like here. Um, you know, some of this staining from the crankshaft just sitting so long. That'll clean up pretty good. The uh, number two crank lobe here and the the number one. You know, they're uh, um, they'll be. They'll be okay, you know, after I get them kind of polished up. I'm just going to show you what they looked like before I did that. Here's what the uh, what the snout looks like here. It, uh, I'll clean those up as well. The uh, So it, uh, I'll uh, do a little work on this, and then I'll show you uh, what things look like. Um, as with the other ones, I'll... Uh, I'll uh, do the connecting rod bearings and the center main bearing first. Then I'll swap like the rear main bearing onto the center to help support that. And then I'll clean up and polish the rear. And then uh, um, I will uh, kind of do the same thing. I'll take the front main cap off, probably flip that back over to the rear so that I can uh, uh, then do the front. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. For those of you with uh, eagle eyes, you can maybe kind of see that this extra crank shaft he brought, this is actually a, a 28 crank shaft. Tell by the shape of the of the crank throw as well as that parting line there, the the uh, the forge or the casting or forging line, and just by the the shape of this, how it's narrower here and wider in the middle, just characteristics of that earlier crankshaft. But it'll work. All specs are the same, and uh, the uh, there are some people that. Uh, that think that uh, these crankshafts are, are actually stronger than the newer crankshafts. So, I don't know. We'll see. Well, more to come on that. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it finished up. The uh, block I've got here on my little work stand. And uh, after, uh, after I get the uh, uh, finish honing the cylinders and cleaning all the carbon out of the ports. Then I will uh, uh, clean that up a little bit more and flip that over and uh, get ready to set this crankshaft in. And uh, I can, even before I get all the gaskets and such, I can, uh, I can get the crankshaft fitted in there, get all the connecting rods fitted so that uh, they're all shimmed up uh, where, uh, where I want them to be. And, and uh, then uh, once the gaskets come, I can put the, uh, the um, uh, camshaft and uh, the lifters. Got to remember to put the lifters in first. <laughs> I've made that mistake before. Get the camshaft in, get the camshaft made it up correctly with the uh, crankshaft gear and get the front covers uh, ready to go on and uh, by that time I'll be ready to paint this block and then I can put the uh, rear bell housing on and uh, get it up on the work stand and once it's up on the work stand with the crank and the connecting rods set and new rings on the pistons uh, the rest of it will go pretty fast that'll be It'd be kind of fun to hear this thing uh, make some noise for him. He'll be he'll be happy to hear that. 
Well, thanks for watching.